Hey guys, what's up? It's Bathcraft, and welcome to another episode of the Isles of Bath. It is episode 13, unlucky number 13, and in today's episode, we are going to be working on the farms and animal pens that we talked about in the end of last episode. Those are going to be going right here, and they're going to house all the animals that I can find on the island and have all the farms set up for all my crop growing and whatnot. So we're going to work on that, and to do that, I need to build a fenced off area, and to do that, I need to gather up some wood. So we are over here chopping down some trees, getting some wood, and while I'm doing that, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. So in the last episode, I mentioned to you guys that my shulker box video was doing very well. It had surpassed 200 views and showed no signs of slowing down. Well, at the time of recording this, guys, it has surpassed 800 views and still is not slowing down. So I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have watched it and dropped a like. By the time this video releases, it is estimated to have gone past a thousand views, meaning it will be my second video that broke a thousand. So thank you guys so much. And I also wanted to let you know that my channel is showing some massive growth and is good. I've gained like 20 subscribers in the past couple of days and it really means a lot and welcome to all of you guys who are just now joining maybe and maybe this is the first video you've watched so i hope you guys are all enjoying the content that it's coming out and i'm gonna try to keep pumping it out as much as possible but i'm gonna finish gathering up some of this wood and then i will be right back with you guys die die oh hey die there we go all right, guys, so we have gathered up a ton of wood and we are ready to begin working on the pins. But before we do that, we need to figure out exactly where they are going to go. And they're going to be running along this path right here. So we've got to connect this path here up to the one that we made in the last episode here. So that means a lot of terraforming from this wall right here. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and we'll see what we can't figure out together. So all we need to do is a little bit of that and we'll start bringing the path down right here. So we need to do this, maybe path out some of that. And then I've got these wooden slabs here that we're gonna throw down like that to make our stairs down so we don't have to do any kind of jumping. So there's that and then maybe put, um, let me see. So we'll break that, put some wood or put some dirt there, maybe like this. I think that looks pretty good. That'll work. So once these grow grass and whatnot, we'll pass them out and then it'll connect up with this one really nicely. So let me go ahead and pass that, make this one look a bit nicer here, throw some wood down on this one as well. So break that and then we will do that and then that, that, that. I think that looks nice, good. All right, so now we are going to begin doing a bit of terraforming as well around here, filling in the small gaps like this. All right, looking good. And then I got to fill in a couple holes here and a couple holes down there. But for the most part, it is time to begin laying down some fence posts. All right, guys, so we've slept the night away and crafted up a couple of fence posts here. And I believe this is where we are starting it right here. So we've got the corner built out and we are going to go ahead and finish filling out a border here. I apologize if this isn't very riveting, just me building a fence, but it's what we got to do. This is a buildy series, so we got to build. So the farms and pens are going to be fairly large because they've got to house a space for cows and pigs and sheep and I believe that is all the animals that are on the island. I might venture out and try to find some chickens maybe. I'm not sure where those be. I don't think I have any on the island. Doesn't look like it. Nope. So then we are going to also have our farms and that's going to consist of wheat, carrot, beetroot, and maybe some potatoes. Yeah, some potatoes. So it's got to be fairly large to house all of that stuff. So we are going to extend it all the way out this way just like this all right and i'll be filling in the rest of this as soon as we start putting the animals in here but i just want to get a border done and i'm already running out of fence posts here so there's that okay and i believe that is large enough right there so we are going to go ahead and start turning back and coming this way so like this 
All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. I was thinking it might be a little bit too big, but no, it's perfect. So I want to let you guys know what I'm doing over here or what my plans are over here, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I'm going to keep it to myself because I don't want anybody getting excited over anything. So let's go ahead and craft up a couple more fence posts and then we will finish off this border. Oh my, oh my, three creepers. Oh my, what? I was nowhere near you. Are you kidding me? Oh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. Die. You better not blow up. Die. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was close. That was close. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Man, I really need to just go around and light up all these, uh, all this island because there's getting to be too many creeper holes around here. All right, guys, and just like that, the entire place is all flattened out and blocked out. We know where everything's going, and it's time to get some animals in here. We've already trapped one little guy in here, but it's time to get the rest of the animals, all the sheep and the pigs and the, the what are the other, the cows, all of them in here, and then we're going to move our crops in here as well. We also need to figure out where our gates are going to go because I've got this real janky block here, and this is how I get in and out, so we'll have to figure that out in a minute, but... It is time to get some vegetables and move these animals in here, and I think I'm going to be doing it in a big, hilarious third-person time-lapse. Let's see how this goes, guys. Alright guys, so we got all the livestock in here now, and I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. The next step we need to do is get these farms right here out of the way. I see a creeper. Uh-oh. Not again. Okay, here we go guys. This time I'm getting him. Alright. Come on. Get away from the farms. Get away. Die. And die. Oh, he's right next to the farms. Oh no. Yes! There we go. Alright, so these farms are in the way, so I'm going to remove them real quick, and then we're going to begin laying out how all the crops are going to go in our area here. So let's do that real quick. Die, 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 
Die. 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 Yes! Look at that, guys. Killed an Enderman. Oh, this place is deadly. Alright guys, so the farms have been removed here and I have finished the fence on this side and it is looking really fantastic. I've also added a fence right here separating all the animals from where the crops are going to go and I've moved all the animals that got trapped over here over to this side and it is looking great. So what we are going to do now is we are going to begin planting in the crops and I've dug these trenches here. This is where the water is going to go. And if I pop up right here, let me just pillar up real quick. So how it's going to go is we're going to have a row of wheat, then a row of like beetroot, then another row of wheat, then another row of beetroot, and then another row of wheat. And that is that section. And then we move on to the other crop like uh, carrots. So it's going to go wheat, then carrots, then wheat, then carrots, then wheat. And then the final one's going to go wheat, potatoes, wheat, potatoes, wheat. And I think that's going to be a really cool farm design. So we're getting lots of wheat because that's definitely something you need a lot of while we are also getting the other crops as well in between. And I remember hearing something about how crops grow faster in rows. So if you put different styles of or different kinds of crops on either side of it, it'll grow faster. So just in case that is true, we are going to be doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and begin putting in all of the water and the crops, and then we're gonna see how this looks. So let's get started. Step one, insert the water, check. Now let's move on to the crops. All right, guys, so all of the farmland is now ready to go. And some of you more observant people may be asking, why have you put the gate right in front of the water? How are you going to get in? Well, that's where these guys come in. Oh, yeah, I love putting lily pads on the water so that the crops do not go down in the water because that is terrible when you are harvesting. So let's go ahead and throw these guys on top of the water, and then we're going to plant all of our crops. Oh my gosh, I had the perfect amount. A stack and 11. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. I promise I did not plan that. That was crazy. All right, guys, so all of the crops are planted and the farm is ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed that rather boring time lapse of watching the crops grow. Imagine how I felt. I had to watch that in real time. I was just sitting here watching the grass grow, literally. But we have finally got our farms going. That means we can take out that farm up there. And this has now become our main farm. And I am loving how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. But to end today's episode, I want to do a bit of work right here. These creeper holes cannot stay. We need to do a little bit of terraforming. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit with you on camera, but I'm not sure what I wanna do. It's gotta work in with this path here, but now that these are ready, let me go ahead and path those out. Like that. Ooh, I didn't wanna do that one. I'll leave it. All right, so there we go. Go ahead and path that. Looking good, break that one. Cool. Make this look a bit nicer like this. All right, and then once the grass grows there, that will look nice, perfect, cool. So that's a path going up there. Let's do the same thing kind of right here. Take out some blocks like this. Um, all right, looking good. Okay, I don't think that one should be path, but we'll figure that out once this grass grows. But I do kind of like the idea of the path splitting off this way, I'm not sure where I'd want it to go, so I am going to maintain that path going on here, so let's see what I can't do. Taking out this whole layer. Let's go ahead and just take out this whole little hill area right up here, and we'll build a nicer slope. Hmm. I've never terraformed on camera, really, so this is a first for me. I consider myself okay at terraforming. I'm not, like, 
fantastic at it, but um, if you saw the episode where I did the mountain there, like, I've never really watched people teach terraforming or anything like that. I just kind of know what looks natural in Minecraft, I guess. So hopefully, hopefully you guys agree with that. Um, hmm. But now that I say that, I'm kind of struggling. So let's do that. And then do we have our wooden slabs? We do not. All right. Slabs there. All right. And boom, boom, boom. How does that look? That looks fine. And then it'll come up this way and the path will continue on right there. And this is kind of nice being open. A view of that. Let's take out this sand here. Don't like it. Place in our dirt. That will soon be grass. Okay. Now we need to continue the path up this way. And it's going to go like this. Then... We can remove this farm now. I'll probably do that in between episodes, unless the terraforming does it right now. All right, and then we'll put more wooden slabs right there. Okay. And then bring it up like this. More wooden slabs right there. And then this would be the level of the path right here. So once that grass is out, we can path it up. And then we've got a path going up right here. Okay. These cobblestone, here from a house a long time ago. Those need to go. All right, looking good so far. Maybe put a block there, and block there, and bring this out. Okay. And I actually kind of like this creeper hole, not as like a creeper hole, but as kind of like a natural dip down in the land. So let's see what I can't do with it real quick. Give me a minute. Takes time and patience to get something to look good. When you can place the blocks right, it goes a little bit quicker. All right. Looking pretty terrible, but once the grass grows, I'll be able to do a little bit more. I think it needs to come out like right here. All right, um, hmm, 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 that will be fine right there. Okay, so doesn't look terrible, doesn't look great either. Once the grass grows, I'll do a little bit more terraforming. So I wanted to mention real quick that, as you guys know, in a previous episode, I did kind of flatten out this entire area to build a village. It is not staying like that. I hope you guys don't think that. It is not staying flat and looking like this. The only reason I flattened it out was to get a nice building area, and then once I build the buildings, I'll do the terrain around it. I'll build some nice hills around the buildings, and that's what I'm doing here with the governor's mansion. This isn't going to be like a perfect pedestal that's holding up the governor's mansion. This will all be naturally terraformed to look like a small little mound, and I'm going to be terraforming right around this area as well, making it look all nice and pretty but that is for another episode i just wanted to get started with the terraforming and fix these creeper holes over here those were the big ones let's go ahead and take out these two i hate when fences attach to side blocks it looks terrible but that is looking a lot better it doesn't look like a creeper hole anymore it looks like a little natural uh cavity or a little natural uh dip in the land i guess and now we've got a kind of good path right here that comes up instead of a creeper hole and I want to place a block there, actually. Perfect. And once this gets all done, we can path all this out. And it's going to look fantastic. But now I'm just realizing I don't think the grass will grow. Yes, it will. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Yes, we're good. All right, guys. So that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This episode was extremely fun to make. I have no idea what it was, but... Just what I was doing, I was really into it. So I hope that came across in the video and you guys enjoyed it as well. I hope that more episodes can be like this one. This is kind of what I wanted the Isles of Bath to be all along, this style of episode. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time in another one. Peace out.